Welcome to Kumba Iron Ore, which is a member of the Anglo-American PLC Group. At Kumba, we don't simply see the world in terms of iron ore and profit. We strive to produce every ton of our product safely and in an environmentally conscious manner. Kumba is a leading value-adding supplier of high-quality iron ore to the global steel industry, with two operations in the Northern Cape and one in Limpopo province. The safety and well-being of our employees and the conservation of the environment that we operate in is important to us. Please pay attention during this Xi induction. What you are learning now will ensure your safety and that of others. Our goal is for all our employees and contractors to return home safely after every work day. To make this happen, we need your help. Be your brother's keeper. Follow the rules and be vigilant always. This visitor's induction outlines the safety, health and environmental hazards that you will be exposed to on our operations and the required controls to ensure your safety, good health and safe environment. Please listen attentively. Your life may depend on it. This induction does not give you the permission to conduct work, but to enter our sites under the direct supervision of the company representatives assigned to you for the duration of your visit. If, for any reason, you require to conduct work whilst on our site, inform your host so that they can facilitate the necessary site induction for you our health, safety and environmental vision. Kumba Iron Ore Leadership has signed a commitment to preserve the safety and health of our employees, contractors and visitors and the conservation of the environment we operate in. At Kumba Iron Ore, our vision is to achieve zero harm to people, equipment and environment. To achieve this, we believe in the following three principles. Zero Mindset we believe that all incidents are preventable. No repeats. We learn from our mistakes. All necessary steps will be taken to prevent a recurrence. Simple, non-negotiable standards and rules applied always. To support this vision, Kumba Iron Ore has implemented safety, health and environmental management systems which are compliant with international standards and the Mine Health and Safety Act 29 of 1996. In our quest for zero harm, our biggest considerations are people, property and the environment. We want all our employees and contractors to return home safely after every work day. To make this happen, we need your help. In everything we do, we are guided by our six values. Safety, care and respect, integrity, accountability, collaboration and innovation. Safety is our first value. Our employees are our most valued asset and therefore we have set the following safety values to be lived by every employee contractor and visitor. We put safety first in everything we do. We make safety a way of life. We show genuine concern and take responsibility for our own safety and the safety of others. We truly believe that all injuries are preventable. We continuously reassess risks and comply with rules and procedures. Elimination of fatalities and injury prevention. Elimination of loss of life at Kumba Iron Ore is our utmost goal. We have identified the events which can result in loss of life, critically analyzed their risks and identified critical controls to prevent these events from happening. These have been implemented and are monitored for effectiveness. These events include mobile equipment incidents. As a visitor, remain on the designated walkways and remain with your host in the work areas as he or she will guide and keep you in safe zones out of the path of interacting mobile machines. Falling from heights. Stay in the safe areas defined by safe barricade placement and handrails and do not approach areas that could lead you to a fall from heights. It is not permitted to climb on safety berms. Uncontrolled release of stored energy. Remain with your host 
and be aware of pinch points, self-closing doors, and the potential automatic starting up of conveyors. High wall bench failure. I will never climb onto berms or take up a position within approximately one bench height at the toe of a high wall or at an unprotected crest of the high wall or exclusion zone unless authorized and permitted to perform a specific task in this area. Fire and explosion. No naked flames are allowed on site. Smoking in designated areas only. Loss of load. Never walk under a suspended load. Premature detonation. No visitors allowed in charged up and charging area unless previously arranged. Contraband controls will then be followed. Contact with moving machinery. Maintain a safe distance from moving machinery and do not touch or handle guards. Abnormal weather. Be aware of slip trip and fall hazards. Don't run in the rain. Lighting precautions to be followed by your host. Confined spaces. No visitors to enter confined spaces. Exposure to dust. Wear the appropriate dust masks PPE as required in dusty conditions. As visitors, you will be exposed to some of these hazards. It is important that you obey all safety rules to ensure safety. All Kumba employees play a role towards zero harm. We always, without exception, assess the risks associated with any task before doing it and put adequate control measures in place to manage the risks effectively. Before we start any task, we look at the task to be done, assess the risks to people, equipment and the environment, and put steps in place to manage the risks. Slam. These measures can involve engineering controls, separation of personnel from hazardous equipment, administrative procedures geared towards working safely, and the use of personal protective equipment. Elimination of fatalities is driven by our perception and fear of being exposed to a condition or activity that is not in a safe controlled state. This ultimately means that as an individual, you may be exposed to a life-threatening occurrence or condition. If this is the situation that you find yourself in, the following action must be taken. 1. Immediately communicate with your host about the unsafe condition and or activity. 2. Host to stop unsafe activity or condition and or be taken out of line of fire. 3. Communicate to work team about the condition or act, applying remedial action and if necessary, the removal of people from that work area. 4. Supervisor or manager to be informed of condition or act. Mind team to action in line with the HPH procedure. All employees and visitors have a role to play in the prevention of serious injuries. Kumba Iron Ore has identified life-saving behaviors which are non-negotiable on all our sites. We urge you to uphold these during your stay at our operations. 1. I will only perform tasks and activities that I have been trained in, licensed for, capable, competent, authorized and permitted to do. 2. I will never climb onto berms or take up a position within approximately one bench height at the toe of a high wall or at an unprotected crest of the high wall or exclusion zone unless authorized and permitted to perform a specific task in this area. 3. I will never drive or operate mobile machinery while using my cell phone. 4. I will only operate TMM I am authorized for, will always wear my safety belt and adhere to speed limits and traffic signs, maintaining a safe following distance of at least 50 meters while driving on the whole roads. 5. I will never enter or work in a confined space before having ensured all permit requirements are met. 6. I will never work above 2 meters without attaching my double hook safety harness. Seven. I will always isolate, lock out and tag and test for live before any work is carried out on electricity. 8. I will never enter a drop zone while lifting of equipment is in progress. I will always stop work if critical controls are not in place. PPE PPE is a measure of last resort 
to protect you from workplace hazards. Your host will provide you with the required PPE for the operation you are visiting. As a minimum, the following PPE is mandatory at our sites. A hard hat, reflective jacket or vest, steel-tipped safety boots, safety glasses, hearing protection when going into noise demarcated areas, respiratory equipment where required, safety gloves. Once being issued with the PPE and you are not sure when or how to utilize the PPE, please ask the host to clarify and explain the requirements and safety application of the PPE. Employees Responsibilities and Rights According to the Mine Health and Safety Act 29 of 1996, Chapter 22 and 23, all employees have a duty to take reasonable care to protect their own health and safety and that of others, complying with health and safety measures, reporting any risks identified, wear required personal protective equipment, PPE. All employees and visitors have the right to leave any of our workplaces which pose a serious danger to their health and safety. It is further our request that if you notice any unsafe conditions or acts, to please share and report these to us. As an outsider, your appreciation of a risk or hazard may differ from our team and your input in reporting these conditions to us will assist us to apply corrective remedial action. This will also drive us to reviewing our own hazard and risk perceptions. Occupational Health and Hygiene At Kumba Iron Ore, the health of our people is of utmost importance. We have wellness programs to ensure that our employees are fit for work and fit for life. Kumba Iron Ore has taken a stance to eliminate HIV in our operations. We encourage all our employees to know their HIV status. The company has a commitment to be involved in providing treatment where required. Our operations expose employees to a number of health hazards. The most significant long-term health hazards at our operations are noise, dust, fumes, heat, all high noise areas are clearly marked. When you see this sign, ensure you are using hearing protection. You will be shown how to use them when they are issued to you. The dustiest areas on the mine are in the pit, around the drill rigs, in blasting areas and in some parts of the plant. Every effort is made to reduce exposure to dust. You will be provided with respiratory protection for use when entering dusty areas. During cutting and welding processes, gases are generated and of course there are many petrol and diesel operated vehicles and machines in constant use. Our operations are situated in a very hot area, which means the possibility for heat stress or heat stroke is high. Visitors must ensure that they consume enough cold drinking water to prevent dehydration or heat stress and apply adequate sun protection always. Our environment. During our operations, large quantities of water are consumed. We are constantly applying new measures to mitigate water losses and wastage. We make efficient use of our water resources, recycling it whenever possible. Where we can, we provide the water we pump out of our mines to local authorities to boost their water supplies. Kumba carries out constant testing and evaluation of soil and we work hard to ensure that impact on soil which might render it infertile are kept to a minimum. We constantly monitor the effects our processes have on the air around us. Mining generates dust when topsoil is stripped as well as during drilling, blasting, loading and hauling, tipping, crushing, screening and transfer between different processes. There should always be proper dust suppression on site to ensure that there are no health impacts on workers and surrounding communities. We strive to ensure efficient use of energy and use clean energy like solar energy wherever possible by undertaking energy saving and carbon reduction projects that contribute positively to combating the negative impacts of climate change. Biodiversity is another aspect of the environment that we monitor. 
This refers mainly to vegetation and animals. We ensure that our biodiversity is looked after and that no protected or endangered species are ever disturbed without obtaining the necessary permits and assistance from the Department of Forestry and Nature Conservation. General and hazardous waste materials are generated during the mining process and if not handled properly, they will negatively affect the environment. All waste must be disposed of in designated, clearly marked bins and there shall be no littering on site. Anglo-American constantly engages with local communities to ensure that all environmental complaints and issues are adequately addressed and kept to a minimum. General Safety, Health and Environmental Rules The following general safety rules must be adhered to. Always stay with your host. He or she is responsible for your well-being whilst you are on our site. Alcohol and Drugs no alcohol or drugs are permitted and no person under the influence of drugs and alcohol will be allowed on the premises. Be aware that you may be tested when entering the mine and the requirement for entry is an alcohol level of 0.00. .00. Inform your host if you are taking any medication which can impair your attention. Firearms Firearms are without exception prohibited. If you have any firearms, they should be declared and handed in immediately before entering. Cell Phones Never walk and talk on your cell phone and always concentrate on your immediate environment. Footwear No high heels and open shoes are allowed on site. Three-point contact Whenever you are going up or down stairs, Use the handrails to prevent injuries due to falls. When climbing into mining equipment, you should always have three points of contact. Equipment Safeguarding Many injuries on our premises are to fingers and hands. Don't put your hands near moving equipment or anywhere else where they can be hurt. Restricted Areas Do not enter any areas where access is restricted unless prior permission has been granted. Pedestrians Pedestrians must always stand clear of mobile equipment. Remember that equipment operators can't see you if you are close to the equipment. Driving All road safety rules apply. Safety belts must be worn by all passengers always. It is illegal to speak on your cell phone whilst driving as well as brake speed limits or any other rules of the road. Reverse parking is compulsory and headlights must be on whenever a vehicle is moving. Smoking At all Kumba sites, smoking will only be allowed outside of offices at designated smoking areas. Incident reporting all incidents must be reported immediately to your host for further investigation and possible action. First aid equipment and fully trained staff are available around the clock. Should you feel unwell, simply report it and the medical staff will attend to you. Emergency Preparedness All our sites have emergency contact numbers. Your host will provide you with the numbers for the site you are visiting. In the event of an emergency, an alarm will be sounded. Should any emergency occur during your visit, follow the instructions from your host. All visitors to evacuate to the emergency evacuation points in the area you are visiting. Intellectual Property Management Kumba is committed to the effective management of its intellectual property and all employees and visitors have obligations regarding its enforcement and protection. Please note that the use of cameras and taking of photographs is prohibited unless prior permission has been obtained from your host. Thank you for your attention during this induction video. Kumba Iron Ore needs your help as we continue our journey to zero harm. If you notice anything that poses danger to yourselves and our employees, please report it to your host. Feedback can also be sent via email and telephonically to your host. Please remember to take what you have learned here with you. Remember to drive according to road safety rules as you leave our operations. 
with your cooperation and adherence to our SHE rules and procedures, we can achieve our vision of zero harm.